again. Still no cover. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I've been just crazy busy. I was thinking about how I, I really wanted to go about this video, especially since it's, you know, like 10 years of world building. That's a lot to cover. And initially I was, I was going through and kind of talking about just everything, but the project is so indistinguishably different from when it first was conceived. So I think I'm going to do more of, of what I did last time where I played, uh, some tracks and really just hop in when I feel like something could be talked about or explained. I did want to thank everybody a lot for your interest in this. It, it, it meant a lot to me. Um, the last video was doing really good, so um, I'm glad that you guys enjoy it. And um, later this week, I'm going to be posting a walkthrough of my thesis for college, which is fully rendered images of my world building project. So definitely stay tuned for that. And then in the bio is a link to a video of my most recent sketchbook, if you guys want to check that out. I also got some other art projects that I've, I've been meaning to share on here. So yeah, again, thank you so much. And um, take a stroll down memory lane with me. When I'd first started my world building, it was a lot more focused on fantasy. I was really inspired by Skyrim. I think that was kind of the game that made me decide to really start doing art and world building. It was a huge deal for me. I, I still play it to this day. I mean, I, I love that game. You'll kind of see as, as we move forward, it, it veers away from this almost strange adventure timey thing to being more about technology being infused with people and, and how religious corporate overlords kind of use that to their advantage in order to oppress a world they inherited from a long dead god whose ideals they greatly misunderstand it, it just it changed so much it's kind of baffling to me how much it's changed but i'm happy for those changes You'll be seeing a lot of this character. It was kind of my original protagonist. I, I kind of unintentionally made like a Mary Sue and a MacGuffin plot for years. And um, upon realizing that, I, I just scrapped a lot of it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Yeah, I remember way back when there was this whole entire arc where the protagonist's friends were all murdered and turned into these, like, robotic hunters that would kind of impede their progress towards obtaining the MacGuffin. Which is kind of cool, but also, like, I don't know, I just it just didn't hit for me personally. This character still exists, but he goes by Walter now, and he's more of a elderly character, which the blacksmiths Pitt and Myra kind of watch over. It's kind of interesting to look back on all this stuff, because back when I first started doing the aesthetic discovery, everything felt a lot more tribal to me looking back on it and i wouldn't really say that is something that continued into the modern age of my world building project the fins that were on that one purple guy though that is most certainly still there. yeah there he is yeah uh this guy right here he has this helmet with kind of uh the fins on it and that that has definitely carried over i still love that aesthetic choice
Way back then, I had all these ideas about a forgotten orc empire, and they were kind of cast out for having orc bloodlines and whatever. That is absolutely not necessarily present whatsoever in any form at all <laughs> in, in the modern incarnation of the story. But it's fun to look back on. I, I thought this was kind of funny. I um, This sketch was on the back of homework for my school. Just maybe kind of a fun fact about me is I, I dropped out of high school. I had a really hard time um, back in my hometown and my dad moved me out to Florida after a pretty intense relationship. And um, man, I think that was six or seven years ago now, but I'm doing a lot better today. Just kind of a random point. I want to make is um, you don't always know your self-worth and if you are in a position where you are with someone who is just terrible to you and you know that but you just don't want to accept it get out of there dude um, just take care of yourself okay you get you get one life Man, seeing the 3DS in this guy's hands, just... Oof, I still love my 3DS. I miss that era, I gotta be real with you, but I... I remember when I came up with this guard design, I was like, oh, that's it, that's so snazzy. And, um, <laughs> looking back, it's really just kind of goofy looking, but it, it worked for its time, you know? I really love that song. That's one of my favorites I think I've ever made. It just has such a nice, like, ambience to it. And it, it feels, like, almost spiritual <laughs> to me for some reason. I'm not not exactly sure why that is, but it, it just... Uh, that one really is in my heart. Um, this next one I'm gonna play is, uh... I think it's called The Pirate Song. No, it's not. I don't, I don't remember the name of it, but you'll see it on screen when I put it in, so um, I hope you enjoy this one. It's a bit more upbeat. Yeah, there's a bit of this, like, absurd alternate reality that is sort of a prequel to my whole world-building project where, uh, ancient civilizations never really fell and they created just this crazy advanced world with, like, hovercraft technology and they brought back dinosaurs and rode them around until the Fane Ruka showed up and recreated the world in his image, um... 
and just that's kind of just a fun little lore drop right there i still need to do a lot of work on that um art on the art side Two things. Um, it was called the pirate song. <laughs> uh, second thing. This is kind of the point of the book where you can really see the creasing issues with the pages because of the way that I binded it. I don't mind it too much. It's just nice to have all of the uh, the work in one place. Good for reflection. <laughs> This next song I'm gonna play is called Marigold Sunshine. I, I never got in around to finishing it, and I, I really would like to at some point here soon because I think it's I think it's quite a nice song. I think it has a lot of potential.
and now we have arrived um, at the time period around uh, about a year or so before I started college. Seeing as this is actually around the time of my life that I started doing Wavy Cult with my brother, I'm gonna play another remaster. This one is called Crystals, and it is a personal favorite of mine. You know, I feel like a lot of the earlier world building I did was just kind of searching for identity. Like it starts off fantasy, I start introducing sci-fi elements, and I do truly feel that until about two years ago, I was still searching for that identity, but I've definitely arrived there. And I'm excited for you guys to see the other videos I'm making to kind of explore that with me. This next song is gonna be Lovely Shit, Lo-Fi Love Song, which is something I made with my friend Mac, I think about two or three years ago now, and hope you enjoy that. I used to have this whole concept for a kind of Saturday morning cartoony vibe type like sci-fi adventure character known as Space Boy and he was a uh, 
kind of going to take over for the protagonist at a certain point, but I eventually also kind of found him disinteresting. I think his costume design is really quite cool, though. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll give him another crack as, like, a separate IP. I don't really think he fits into the world in its current state. Actually, I'm thinking about just playing the rest of the Hypnospace 5 Ever album because I don't know if I'm ever going to release it. All of the songs are three years old, I think, at this point, and like I kind of just want to put it online somewhere. And you know, what better place than here? So I'm just going to kind of keep quiet for a bit and let you guys gaze upon this old art and this old music.
hey, thank you for indulging me there. I know, kind of rougher songs, but I hope you still found some enjoyment. And this is where the world really started to, to kind of take shape. You'll see some pretty vast aesthetic differences going forward. And this next song is from the soundtrack I released with my senior thesis. It's called I Want to Feel Again. You know, and kind of while I'm talking about the soundtrack I released with my thesis, uh, I, there was a whole point where I was kind of trying to do, like, Doom music, like, Doom 2016, and it didn't turn out too great, uh, but it's kind of funny in, in how stark the contrast is to the soundtrack I ended up going with. I'm gonna play one of those songs. I'm never going to release this one. I'm, I'm a little embarrassed of it, but... Yeah, here, here it goes. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm not talking about the art too much. I just, I, there's not like as much to say about it because it's so old to me now. 
Um, I have a lot more to say in the, uh, the other video I'm posting today about my most recent sketchbook, but I appreciate everybody so much for watching these videos. Here is another cut song from my thesis that I probably won't be releasing. It's not even finished. And that one is called, When Next Shall I Gaze Upon You? Yeah, around here we're gonna know a lot more into body horror and, and stuff like that, so it's kinda it's kinda cool to see how it how it started changing. Cause it, when it started changing I was like, oh wait, I think I know where I'm going with this stuff now and I did. This shit's way cooler. This next song is just another song I never finished. It's called Fur. I really like the instrumental hook that I got in this one and uh, I hope that you do too. And vomit all the years of pains and laughing Said you wanted me to let you live But my eyes are deadpan Wanna make a couple grand Shoot your friends Hop up in the bus For the street turn red Hop up in the whip I drive a fee I know cab Gonna ride with my baby Till I bring my last breath I'ma break into your house With the blouse on bad hell Ready in my hand I took the window out back I drank so much Build a cat of red When I'm wearing black Check it so you know I'm wearing flat Better to switch this flow Take a right and head back It's a cater on me Got me feeling sticky Seven sins Where ass candle stack bands With wavy in a vans More got queen Grab my dick with the hands, she be counting heads when I bust them back. Ten no text, I don't really like that. Flick my wrist with the big, but I hit that. Ain't got ass, all I wanna do is kick back. Get good brain, and we all got to eat, man. And with this page, we arrive about two years ago where I started to, to start, you know, I started learning more about digital painting and what a good painting takes and how to render and all that stuff. I finally had a decently solid aesthetic and this stuff is just a couple of, I guess, more recent sketches. Um, man, I've come such a long way. I sometimes forget that, you know, if, if you're an artist, look back at your old work and just damn, you know, that's, that's an easy, quick confidence boost. I still have so much to learn and I am infinitely excited about that. You know, I hope I can share that journey with some of you guys. Thank you a lot for watching. I don't really know if I am going to have much more to say. Thank you guys so much for any form of interest you've shown um be it the music be it the art um yeah i mean seriously it 
again it just means so much to me and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one just a quick reminder that you can view my most recent sketchbook by clicking the link in the bio um the the work in there is is much better than what was in here this stuff is old <laughs> um i just want to stress that so i'm gonna throw up my socials now uh you can feel free to follow me if you if you feel so inclined and again thank you i hope you guys have a good day and that'll be it for me Thank you.